Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we took on the Earth Temple. And this episode, we are going to be... Let's see. We're going to be... Hunting Wabbits. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to be hunting down the Triforce pieces. If you didn't know that there's a new episode out, it's because you must not be subscribed. So, uh, why not subscribe? That way you will be notified every time I do upload an another video. Uh, as long as you hit the, the bell icon to get the notifications. Or, if you just want to support the channel and watch at your leisure, but you don't want to be bothered with the notifications, then just subscribe and you can either customize the bell button to only get notified sometimes or you can get no notifications and just watch the videos when you check your YouTube app. So to start out on this episode, now that we have the hook shot, if the waves will allow us, we can get up here. If you want to know where I am, see, I don't, I'm not sure if I can show the map. Yeah, I don't think I can show it on here. Um, well, actually, here I know of a way I can. Oh, okay, I figured you had to probably be on the boat already. Have we got one of these yet? Blue chews? I think we have. Yeah, we've got two already, but... Alright, so now, let's see. Before we jump in that hole, there's something up here, I believe. thought there was. Oh, let's not do that. Can I follow anything up here? I thought there was more up here than just that. You're going to be seeing a lot of these, like, I don't even know what you would call them. A lot of these similar looking rooms. Oh, he, he's hungry too. Hungry, hungry Armos. You're gonna be stocking up on rupees. Oh, actually, crap. I'm already at thousands. Well, then we're gonna have to make another stop. Either in this episode or the next one so that we can get the wallet upgrade because we are going to need it oh wait wrong button
Okay. Now where do you go? I already destroyed that one, but evidently not. Though, by the way, um, oh crap, crap, didn't mean to have my, uh, let me get rid of, I don't know why I have my camera out. Target that guy. Okay, I need the elemental arrows. But you didn't know you could do that, huh? Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, by the way, um... Just because the last video was so long as the late game dungeons have been, um... This video won't be that long. So. For those of you that did watch it all the way through, I appreciate it. Not like it was that hard though because I mean it's there's always something to do when going through a dungeon there's not a lot of uh, not a lot of like traveling or just free like time or anything there's usually even though it can take and has taken at least the last couple have been about like an hour. Usually when when you watch it, it doesn't feel like it. I'm sorry, it's hard to talk on. Like I'm so focused because they're hitting each other. Anyway, yeah, it. It doesn't really feel that long when you're watching it, but I like to have a variety in my video length because I know personally if I am wanting to watch something quick and don't have a lot of time or something that I find interesting and want to see or just want to watch something that is cool and don't really want it to take forever to, to get to any parts I'm interested in then um, like when watching other people's videos I appreciate the shorter videos that get more to the point but there are times when I'm just letting the TV play in the background or 
if I want to fall asleep to it or I just don't like I might be doing something else and don't want to have to keep finding a, the next video or whatever to watch I just want to kind of let it play um, in cases like that I uh, do shoot for the to watch like the longer videos just depends on the situation but Nevertheless, we have done it. You got a Triforce Shard, now you only need six more. Yeah, as I said, we're going to be seeing a lot of these types of rooms. I don't, I don't know what how you would like describe these areas. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, I so said we were going to make a stop real quick. Let's go pay a visit to that guy that is definitely not Beetle wearing a mask. Is this the right thing? No. Where am I thinking? Wrong button. There we go, I see it in the distance now. Yeah, this guy, totally not like Beetle at all. Beetle always stops for us. This dude, almost always just, I don't know, oh, what, what would a boat, two boats drive off, I don't know, he uh, sails off, yeah. He just sails off whenever I, you know, stop next to him and want to get on. But, he does have a piece of heart for us, so. Yeah, happy, we're all happy. Alright. Actually, before I do that, Oh, 
think it is close by here. Um. There it is. Something that we want to get from one of the great fairies. Okay. Usually you have to use your boomerang to kill those chews because they have like an electric shock to them. But if you flash them as soon as they bubble up and form before they get the chance to, you know electrify themselves, then you can skip that. Alright, what's this alien-like version of the Great Fairy have to give us? More arrows? Okay. I'm, I went to the wrong fairy found. This is west. I believe I need to go uh so oh hey must be where one of our treasure charts was I don't know. <clears throat> is what where's the there he is Got a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control the fate are none other than the lucky items known as the Triumph Force. Yeah, they're some sort of magical utensil. If you want to learn more about the Triumph Force, talk to that guy Tingle. That's what the fish fortune told me. Now, I know I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You'd better believe it, small fry. All right. Word is, they hold an auction every night over there on Windfall Island. Every night the people gather in the Hall of Wealth to amuse themselves by spending a little money. Ah, the rich. Auctions may be a race to see who can bid the highest, but I'll let you in on a little secret. The key to winning an auction is to be both patient and bold. I'm serious, Fry. From what I hear, they get some great things up on that auction block too, like an extra fast thing. Oh, you mean like this extra fast sale that we already have? Appreciate your uh, trying to help us out, but we got this.
Oh, there's many fairies here, so we already went to this. So, not east or west. Listen up, small fry. This is just between you and me. On outside island, buried beneath the black soil, there's some serious treasure. I know it sounds like I'm trying to pull your leg, but I'm serious. Try digging it. What? You haven't got anything to dig with? I'd say try using an animal or something. Work smarter, not harder, small fry. And we got one of those. Or, uh, one of our treasure charts leads here. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. Please do. I need some quest aid. Almost sounds like a some kind of ointment or something. More bombs. Okay, so I've managed to go to every one except the right one. Fairies in this fountain will blah 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 blah. Cool, I've always wanted a fairy that would do that. Completes another heart container. Now, on to the one that I still, or that I <laughs> saved for last, apparently. Trying to take care of these filling out the map chart while we are already going around. The little shop master on Windfall Island apparently got his hands on a truly amazing treasure. He calls it magic armor or something like that. Pretty cool magical relic from what I've heard. If you want him to give it to you, try staring deep into his eyes and winning him over with flattery fry. <laughs> And that's all the info I've got to offer. 
Look at one of those telescope guys. I always like seeing what they think. Oh, so that's how it works. What were you? And what works? He's pretty spongebob. Young Waker to win. To aid you in your quest. With new quest aid. Just apply. <laughs> apply directly to the skin. Oh, what's that from? That's. Uh, it's. There we go. Guys want. 5,000. Oh man, I I know like what the product was and like what it looked like, but I can't remember what uh, what it was called. It was like a headache. Head on. It was like chapstick. Head on. But uh, it's supposed to like help you with your headache. Uh, gosh, do you guys know what I'm talking about? There used to be like so many cards where it was like the name of the part is like this. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> Apply directly to the forehead. Apply direct like they said it a lot for some reason. Oh man. I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, so he must have, uh, must have fed this fish back before, okay, back before we had the bombs. There's the ships I'm looking for. These are not the ships. You're looking that gold one back in the back? That's the ship you're You gotta try for a shard. Can't read it yourself, so you'll have to get it deciphered somewhere. Which is why we'll need the giant wallet, because Tingle's the map guy, but he's also the freaking money blank. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. 
Uh, in the next one, we will be continuing our hunt for the Triforce Shards, and uh, we'll be doing a little more rupee collecting so that we can have Tingle decipher them for us. But thank you guys, and I will see you next week.